to thank the board for the hard work that y'all do, many times thankless work that y'all do. It's, it's important work. Um, the simple point that I wanted to make um, today is just to remind folks of the importance of ensuring that all science instruction uh, materials and textbooks meet the TEACH standard that were adopted back in 2009 and the importance of preventing errors from entering into the classroom. In 2009, new science standards were extensively debated and ultimately the TEACHs adopted were motivated by the goal of protecting critical discussion and open debate in the classroom for all scientific subjects and theories, including evolution. Uh, specifically, the uh, TEACHs stated that in all fields of science, analyze, evaluate, and critique scientific explanations by using empirical evidence, logical reasoning, and experimental and observational testing, including examining all sides of scientific evidence of those scientific explanations, so as to encourage critical thinking by the student. While there were some that opposed this standard, it was important that the board rejected its attempts at censorship and stood for academic freedom, open discussion, and critical thinking. These standards were adopted on a bipartisan basis by a near unanimous vote of 13 to 2. It is also important that the uh, board continue to ensure that factual errors do not enter the classroom. Back in 2009, when the science supplemental materials were before the board, there was a lot of discussion about factual errors. And I remember seeing a, a binder in this very room, uh, 16 binders full of errors. And the board took action at that time to require changes, and that's going to be critically important in this process as well. In closing, it is important that this process today and in the future continue to be about making sure the instructional materials match up with the approved TEKS and that they are accurate. It is vitally important that through this process we not get distracted and sidetracked by those seeking to rehash past debates and undermine our state standards. We must allow the board and the reviewers to do their important work. Thank you. Mr. Mercer. Madam Chair, Mr. Walls, thank you. So you remember in the past we had that as Mr. Miller pointed out earlier, we've had factual errors. Absolutely. And we actually come back, and that's part of our job to find that, to make sure errors do not in their classroom. And as Mr. Miller reminded us, we actually offer some, uh, not offer, we uh, require some hefty fines on publishers when those errors come out to Absolutely. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you for saying that. And uh, I'll make you the same offer I've made every time, <laughs> just to make things clear. And Madam Chair, there's a moment of uh, pers 30 seconds of personal. I heard it. Um, I heard it was uh, personal purpose. Thirty seconds. I mean, the same offer forever. I made the books. You find me one example: biology, chemistry, the word God or Jesus, Buddha, Muhammad. One time, I'll give you five hundred dollars. Wow. This discussion goes on so often, and I hear it by religion. So you find me. God, I even expanded. I said God or Jesus, not including Buddha, Muhammad. You find that anywhere in a biology, chemistry, techs, physics, earth and life science, whatever. And I'm glad to give you five hundred dollars. Thank you. I'll make it a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any other questions? Thank you so much. Bob